What up, you two? So, went and picked up my buddy Lloyd, and uh, we're going on a little road trip. So, I'm headed back to Kenai yet again, and I'm buying another sled. Super excited because this is the rarest XC700 ever built. Period. We looked for one for a long time, and that should pretty much tell anybody kind of in the loop as to what I'm buying. This is the second one I've ever seen in Alaska, and this is the first one that the person's been willing to sell it to me. So, yeah, I got an eight hour, nine hour, with stops probably, round trip ahead of me. So, it's gonna be a long day, but it's gonna be worth it in the end. Luckily, just stopped for some gas station food, so it should be all right. Ow. Toyota, and then I'm like, wait a minute, that's not Garrett's truck either. <laughs> All right, finally made it south of Anchorage. That means we only have three more hours till we're there. Woo! This thing better be worth it. All right, driving up through the mountains now. This is like a turning in area, so probably got another two hours or so till new sled. Let's go. Well, here we are, about half an hour away. There's no fucking snow down here. Crazy. Well, we done got us a rare XC700. Here it is. That's right, 97 XC700. Not only is this the rarest XC700, it is probably the longest one as well. <laughs> this thing is massively long track. Luckily, the original brackets are there. These are brace, extra bracing. But uh, old race sled. Pretty sure this is one of the Iron Daughters sleds. Originally was Larry Heels, in the sound of it. So, pretty cool. Down short track to sing again. Well, now the four hour drive home begins. to the land where we have snow. Crazy what an hour of driving does. And we're driving a couple more hours we'll be back home. Hell yeah. Well, only like another another hour, hour and a half. Almost back to Anchorage. They're there back to the valley. Woo! Getting close. Right, get home, check this thing out better. There she is. It's got two year old fuel in it. Like, a whole bunch of rough stuff in the fuel, like octane booster, stabilizer. Basically, it needs grain for fresh fuel. So we got ourselves a 97 XC 700. Beautiful seat. No rips, nothing. She's dirty. He's cleaned up. But I'm just pumped. Yeah, you hear that? It needs real bad. Very quick and sweet.
but... this thing up fresh fuel get rid of the long track suspension bring it back to stock getting rid of the jump gear tank we're gonna put a stock tank on it but so ah, it says larry heel all over it but apparently local guy out here says larry was his grandpa you gotta turn the handlebars mm. larry was his grandpa but the guy that was said this is pretty well known for racing here in Alaska. Actually raced the sled in the 500 mile race or 500k whatever in Big Lake back in the day and won the 500 race on this sled immediately after sold to his grandpa. At least that's what the comment said, so who knows. This thing's all original under the hood. CDI is still on the motor. You look at the oil pump. All the oil lines are still routed under the motor. It hasn't been updated at all under the hood. It's pretty much stock, except for brake lever, fuel tank, and some bonehead freaking long track it. So, pretty cool. Pretty freaking cool, man. I'm really pumped about this, so. Yeah. Stay tuned for 97 XC 700 build videos got the 700 i always wanted sick sick <laughs>